Hey, hello everyone. My name is Vyendra and uh, how are you all? I hope you all are doing well in your career life and your in your studies. So I welcome you all again in the DevOps and Cloud YouTube channel. So I request you all to join our WhatsApp group as well and Telegram group as well from the given QR code as well as you can find the link in the description below of the video as well. So guys, out of 10 in every 7 to 8 AWS related interviews in the corporate sector they asked one general question on which you can find a lot of lot of videos on youtube as well but when i try to search on youtube about the particular topic right the difference between iaas paas and saas that is ias pass and saas i'm not able to find a particular real time or real world example or some example which is related to our day to day life right so that we can understand the basic key difference between these three so in today's video we are going to discuss a very basic or very layman example after hearing that particular example you will be 101% able to differentiate between these three and you will be able to know that what is the basic difference between these three how to choose what right so let's start the video and let's discuss about these three components that is your ias pas and your saas so guys when i talk about iaas so what is this so basically if i go with the very theoretical or very bookish uh, knowledge you know it's it is called as infrastructure as a service for freshers it's infrastructure as a service so infrastructure as a service if i talk about paas that is platform as a service if i talk about saas that is your software as a service it's for freshers maybe if you have one or two year of experience or you are uh, very familiar with the aws or cloud computing you must know about the full form of these things right now let's take an very household example or day to day life example just suppose you are x right and you want to build a house for yourself and for your family what you will do maybe you will be hiring a contractor a constructor or a contractor right you are going to a contractor or you are going to a constructor and you are giving your requirements that i will be needed a house in that particular area maybe 100 square feet of area and i want this kind of this kind of this kind of things so what he will do he will ask you which service you want you want infrastructure as a service you want platform as a service or you want software as a service so you are saying please give me infrastructure as a service what is that okay so constructor is saying i will be providing you the land requirement i will be providing you the main power which will be needed to build that particular house i will be providing all the components which are needed to build your particular house so the constructor is taking let's say he takes uh, uh, around one year and he just build your house and hand over the property to you right so he just create the infrastructure for you the outer world for you right so the land is taken care by the constructor all the manpower is taken care by the constructor now which kind of color on your walls which type of flooring you want inside your house which kind of interior inside your house you want all these things will be taken care by you only because constructor has already provided you the infrastructure not the interior components not the internal components what are these internal components so let's say this constructor is nothing but aws amazon web services and you have taken amazon web services one service which is infrastructure as a service and in the back end land, land has been taken care by the aws manpower has been taken care by the aws electricity features has been taken care by aws all the hardware equipments is taken care by the aws now what is your responsibility so it's your application so you are responsible for which kind of operating system you are using the run time you are using right 
which kind of storage you are using these all things internal things will be taken care by you only if you are choosing infrastructure as a service from any cloud provider it can be aws it can be azure it can be google any cloud provider now now you are thinking to ask about the platform as a service as well now you are going to the same contractor again the contractor is nothing but AWS, Amazon Web Services. In layman terms, it's a contractor or it's a constructor whose work is to build house basically. So you are going and you are saying, hey, I want to build a house. Can you help me? So I again ask you, which kind of service you want? Platform as a service or software as a service? Because infrastructure service, you have already know. Okay. Now, the constructor is saying that if you are choosing platform as a service according to your requirement, I will be building your house. Whatever the components will be needed to build your house, I will be providing the cement, I will be providing the bricks, I will be providing the manpower, all things will be taken care of by me only. After building your house, your interior will also be taken care of by me, your flooring will also be taken care of by me and the paint, the color, all these things will be taken care of by me. I will create all the infrastructure for you. I will create a platform for you. Now, your responsibility is just to check in inside and just put your luggage, put your clothes, put your all the belongings inside your house. Now, in corporate terms, in the real time terms, if you are choosing platform as a service from any cloud provider, they will be providing you a platform where you can deploy your application. So the deployment part, the runtime part, it is responsibility of you only, right? So the deployment of your application will be done by you. Once you deploy your application, then you can up and running your application. You can use your application, but the complete platform will be given by the cloud provider. Now, you are saying that okay i'm not interested in interested in infrastructure as a service i'm not interested in platform as a service because here i have to do a lot of things the interior will be handled by me the flooring the paint all these things will be handled by me here the deployment process also will be handled by me i'm i don't want to deploy my application uh, I, I, I don't have any knowledge right to deploy the application and do all these things i can't hire the developers I, I just want a kind of a scenario where I will just open my laptop, I will connect my laptop to my internet and I will just open that application and I will work on my application. Is there any solution? So yes, AWS will say that okay, software as a service is a solution where we will be building your house in layman terms. We will be covering the interior as well as well as the deployment part will be handled by us only you just have to open your laptop connect to the internet and use the application it's a very very basic example of software as a service is gmail gmail is a kind of a service where you do not have to download any kind of software you do not have to do any kind of deployment you just open your browser you just uh, type gmail.com and your email uh, inbox will be open automatically so you are not any doing any deployment, you are not managing the storage, you are not managing the memory, you are not managing the server, you are not managing the networking components. Everything is taken care by the cloud provider, the software as a service provider. So if we talk about the summary of these three, so let's see the summary of these three on the screen. You can see IaaS provides you the basic infrastructure, the resources, which will allow you so that you can build and you can manage your own applications. So the building and the management part of your application will be done by you. They will provide you the infrastructure. They will provide you the networking resources, the servers, all these things will be, they will be provided. If you are choosing infrastructure as a service for your application, if you are choosing platform as a service, they will give you a complete platform. They will give you all the tools, the continuous integration, continuous deployment, the code repository, the code deploy, code commit, all these things will be given by them. They will give you all the tools for your application development. 
now you are enabling you to focus on building and customizing your application you just focus on your business you just focus on how to improve your business right and if you are choosing software as a service they will be giving you fully functional software application that ready to use you do not have to need about think about the infrastructure you don't need to think about the application development they will be giving you the entire software the um, uh, let's say already made ready made software you do not have to require to manage your underlying infrastructure or your application development it's just like you are going to a broker and saying that do you need uh, do you have any kind of house which is which is already built with the fully furnished equipments so he's saying that okay there is a one house you just have to give uh, monthly uh, let's say 1000 uh, or 10000 rupees monthly rent for that particular house you just lift and shift wherever you are living right now you just have to take your belongings and just move into that particular house you do not need to worry about the infrastructure you do not need to worry about the platform development you do not have to worry about anything you just go and give me rent monthly rent of 10000 rupees and you just use that particular house to stay inside that it's just like the software as a service you do not have to worry about the back end infrastructure or underlying infrastructure so guys that's the basic difference between infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service i hope this video finds you very very important very very uh, kind of this video has given you the idea that what is the basic difference between iesp and saas so many so many students are confused between these three somehow they are able to define the software as a service but they will be confused in the infrastructure as a service they can define the pas but they are confused in the aws so now it's very very clear with the very real time or real world example or real life example that what is the basic difference between these three right so if you also find this video knowledgeable for you and if it helped you in understanding the key difference between these three components of the cloud computing do let me know in the comment section and if you appreciate the work i will also provide you another more 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 short topics like this which kind of interview questions are asking in the aws interviews so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a good day guys